Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. That nice little intro of the tab part comes back later in the song, I believe. All right, uh, so let me walk you through it. Second string, first fret. You're going to hit that twice like this. Third string, third fret once. Right back to that second string, first fret, and then second string, third fret. So it's like... Then you have open third string and then third string, third fret. So that's your lick, it's like... Let me try it really slow. Then you do it again. So you do that twice. The first time, there's an F minor chord underneath or in the background. The second time, uh, the lick stays the same, but you switch to a C minor chord, so it gives it different harmony. All right, and then the next lick you need is first string, first fret, second string, third fret, uh, second string, first fret, third string, third fret. So you're going to do that twice. So one, three, one, three. So it's first string, first fret, second string, third, second string, one, third string, third. And you do that twice. Then you end up on the second string, first fret. So that one, when you go on like, all of that is an E flat chord. And then when you hit that last note, you're on a B flat. Okay? So we'll talk about the chords in a sec. So here's the lick again. Okay? You should be able to figure it out from that. Uh, use your ear if you can't figure it out. You can do it. Alright, so you need four chords. You need an F minor. That's the first thing you hear is a fourth string, first fret, second string, first fret. I'm going to have the open third string, and I'm going to put my pinky on the first string, third fret. That's an F minor chord. And so that gets like the two, the first two measures of the song. It's like, blah, blah, da, 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 da. And you could hit it twice. You could hit it like at the beginning of each bar if you wanted. We'll come up with some strum patterns too. So, da, 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 da. Then a C minor chord, you're going to bar the third fret, but leave the fourth string open. Okay, so the top three strings you're, you're barring. That's a C minor, and that's the second time you go, da, 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 da. Da. Then you need an E flat chord for the that part. Uh, first string, first fret, third string, and second string at the third fret, open fourth string. That's an E flat chord. Da 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 da. da. Then a B flat for the ending, and then you can hit that again. It, each chord gets uh, equal value, so two measures for each chord. The last chord is a B flat. You bar the top two strings, first fret. 3rd string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 3rd fret. That's my B-flat chord. So those are all the chords that you need. And um, basically it's, it's pretty simple. That's your intro, is that, that keyboard part, you know. The... And you can play chords in the background or find a friend to play the chords while you play that. Uh, the verse is, um, is just F minor twice, C minor twice, E-flat twice, B-flat twice. So this is the progression for almost all of the song. So it's an F minor. You could come up with a strum pattern that's more interesting, like you could go down, down, up, up, down, up, and do it twice. C minor twice, E flat twice, and then the B flat twice. You could just go, you know, and then, so four beats. each one twice, so it's like a measure each, or something like that. Um, you could come up with any kind of, any number of strum patterns for it. Basically, you got to know that it's F minor, C minor, E flat, B flat, just in that order. The only time it really changes is the pre-chorus. That's the Sin City, blah, da, 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 da,
and then they're off to the chorus. So um, he's blinded by the lights is the is the uh, the chorus. So that part was like it was F minor twice, C minor twice, then E flat twice, and then you're out. Three, four. So you're out for like two measures. Uh, goes by real quick, um, and. Uh, so you just leave the B flat chord off during the pre-chorus. That's the Sin City da da dee da. I don't remember the words. Um, all right, so let me give you the form of the song because uh, you basically have everything you need to play it now. The uh, you got your intro, your verse, and then a pre-chorus, and then a chorus. The chorus is just the F minor twice to the C two patterns, E flat, and then the B flat twice. So it's the same as the verse. Um, the only thing, like with the verse and the chorus, they actually repeat this twice, this pattern. You know, you got F minor, and then C minor, and then E flat, and then B flat, and then they go back and they repeat. pre-chorus is just the uh, F minor, C minor, and then the E flat, and then you're out, and then you're onto the chorus, which is the same as the verse, just twice through. Uh, at that point, there's another interlude. I think this comes back. That comes back, and you just can play chords behind it or play that part. Then you got verse two. Verse two, the only difference is it's just once through the chord progression instead of twice. Uh, and then you have your pre-chorus again, your chorus again. Then there's a bridge, which it's just once through the chords. You could, you know, do something like that. Nice and easy, something simple. And then the outro, you're back. Um, it's just the, uh, the same chord progression as the chorus and the verses. Um, you just do it like four times and I, I, I can't remember if they fade or if they um, I can't remember the ending they probably fade out so I didn't write it on my sheet over here so <laughs> so that's the form of it uh, really the only thing you have to know is the pre-chorus is a little different you leave the B flat off other than that it's the same for the whole song so you can just play along uh, thanks for watching play more ook hit the like button don't forget to subscribe thanks